Is that nuts? It's proper, proper coming down. I mean, nobody wants to be out in that. night. Oh, I've gone past the line. Never mind. And, uh, it's about half past seven. And, uh, having my porridge, my shake, my banana. Got my coffee on the go. I've got the heater on. It's absolutely smashing it down outside. Um, so it's going to be a wet one today, I reckon. Right, that's breakfast done. Just doing a few last minute packing things like my wallet, I forgot about that, that was in my jeans pocket. Uh, I've also put in some spare gloves, which is all good, and the uh, charger bank as well to keep my phone charged because that is my primary map for today in GPS using Outdoor Active, uh, which is an awesome app, hashtag not sponsored. Uh, I plan the route at home and I'm gonna follow it um, on my phone as well. I do have a map in the bag along with my sandwiches and a warm jacket um, as well to to, to keep me safe and whatnot and also I've got a uh, first aid kit and a light and that's about it I think I just need to stop talking and go out into the wetness <laughs> So it's not as cold as I thought it was going to be. It's uh, there's no wind either, which makes a huge difference to uh, to like how you feel and things like that. Uh, so I've slowed it down a bit because I don't want to walk too fast because then I'll work up a sweat and then uh, and then I'll be wet from the inside out. The jacket seems to be doing all right. It was kind of beading for the first ten minutes and now it looks like it's soaking in. So yeah. Don't buy the OEX waterproof jacket because uh, it's just an OEX jacket. It's not the waterproof bit that it says it is. Uh, make sure you close these gates, people, because could be sheepies, cows, escaped convicts that they don't want getting out. This is nice, this bit. I bet this is lovely in summer, you know, with 20 degrees, leaves on the trees. This is kind of Thomas Heaton territory, I reckon, just with all the like single trees and you know, and there's some dead trees and, and I'm sure all this bracken here over here looks lovely in uh, autumn and yeah, this is definitely uh, Thomas Heaton territory, I bet he's been here before. <laughs> if you don't know who Thomas Heaton is, uh, he's a great photographer, somebody who I aspire to be uh, landscape wise. Uh, so obviously, as you know, I'm a wedding and portrait photographer. That I think I've nailed. Um, although there is always improvements to be made. Uh, but landscape is a relatively new thing for me. Ah, oh, this is lovely. The sound of the lakes. It's not the Lake District without the rain. It's just not. And the contrast on everything looks so nice. It's like somebody's just upped the contrast slider. Oh, nice. Life's for living, guys. Enjoy it.
apologies to the rain spots. Right, okay, so I nearly made a mistake here. It's really easy to follow this path um, because you just get on a walking mission. However, there's a little turning just here that takes you up and through the woods, through the gate. So, if you're doing this walk, don't miss that bit. I videoed then because uh, that car was coming flying around that corner and I thought he's not going to slow down for this puddle I'm going to get soaked but uh, he did, he did he slowed down so thank you to that mister you're probably not watching but I'll send a thank you out into the ether that's what I've just found a pub <laughs> however it's not pub time yet it's not pub time We've got fog in the lens. It's not coping well. <laughs> Unless something spectacular comes to film, uh, I think I'll see you back at the van because this lens is all fogged up and it's not going to make good viewing for you guys. Right, so I'm back. <laughs> I'm all sorted. I'm dry. I've had a shower. The showers are lush, by the way. Um, so I'm all clean and happy again. All of my wet stuff is in a plastic bag in the front, sealed up to stop all condensationings happening in the van. Um, but yeah, absolutely soaked. And it was it was totally different to the Wernside one. Um, when it was raining on Wernside, yeah, it was windy and stuff, and it was a bit blustery, and it wasn't that pleasant. But the rain today was it's like being in an actual proper shower uh, at home, but outdoor for three hours. So yeah, full blown mission aborted today uh, i still managed to get sort of five or six miles in the bag um and I'm gutted that i couldn't film on the way back as well because i did a really nice um route through some wooded area some foresty area it's really nice uh, really nice until the point where i got to where i think the forestry commission are doing work and where they'd driven the caterpillars or the trucks that they use the the divots and everything like it was just mud and quagmire and horrible at one point it went right up to my ankle and then on the way back on the path on the way back the um, puddle that I went through right at the beginning I'll put some b-roll up that was over my ankle um, so when I were on my way back I'm like I hope the van's not flooded you know because that's that's risen you know like that much in the space of three hours <laughs> <laughs> sat there chilling after my pot noodle and coffee and all of a sudden I'm like oh I'm a bit tired so I thought oh I'll, I'll lay down and watch my pad so I laid down and watched my pad and then two hours later I woke up so <laughs> so making videos in winter in your van is a lot different to outdoor because you know you can't just disappear and do some photographs and um, it's hard to find content um, when when you're in your van and you're just chilling because there's nothing you can do because the weather's bad. 
Um, I can't play Monopoly with myself or Scrabble or anything like that. So it basically is just a case of YouTube and or listen to the rain. The rain's lovely, actually. It's nice to listen to. Um, it's nicer to listen to when you're in the van than it is when you're uh, listening to it when you're out and about. <laughs> I'm off. See you, bye. Cheers. Right then, it's time for bed, so I shall see you guys in the morning. Hopefully we can get to Langdale, which is only about four miles that way, and get some nice photographs. Um, so yeah, fingers crossed for that. But yeah, for now, it's time to go to sleep. So, I shall see you guys in the morning. Let's get cosy. Night night. Good morning. Um, it's ten to nine. <laughs> So um, I've done my first proper 25% hill in the van, well happy with that. Um, I've come to the top of a hill that I have no idea what the name is, um, but it's one of my favourite views from the Lake District that you can just drive to. Um, there's, it's a bit potholy and a bit dodge and the road's super narrow. If someone's coming the other way then either they have to reverse right back up the hill or you have to reverse to some sort of uh, pull in. But this is the view, let's get out, let's have a, let's have a look. If you remember rightly, those super avid fans of the channel uh, will remember, I think, one of my first ever videos. I think it was like video number two or three. And uh, I, there's a car park just over there. I think that's called Something Water. Uh, don't come here for technicals. And um, there's a car park down there that I stayed in and did some photographs of the Langdales and all that. See, I remember that it's the Langdales. It's starting to rain again. But what I'm hoping to do is get a nice atmospheric photograph of over here. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to go grab my camera, and uh, not this camera obviously, and, uh, and see if I can get some nice photographs. Because this is just a beautiful part of the Lake District, absolutely love it. Right, let's crack on. So it's just started hailstoning, proper hurts your ears, especially when you've got ears as big as mine. Um, <laughs> I'm. Uh, let me just get my engine on, well not engine on, but ignition on so I can get the windscreen wipers going. Um, I've been trying to get some photographs of sort of in between the weather, so... Um, if you think about when it stops raining then it all clears up a little bit but then you get like a cloud and loads of rain coming through the valley and I'm like that's the opportunity but the problem is is that no sooner do you see that rain it starts on you as well <laughs> so now you, you can't see anything it's just all whited out there's some people out walking today so yeah they've probably got way better waterproof jackets than I've got but it's just nice to be up here middle of nowhere is that nuts it's proper, proper coming down. I mean, nobody wants to be out in that. That view, just non-existent now. If you just pulled up on here, you'd be like, I've no idea what's going on over there. <laughs> I think I've got all the photographs I want. I'm just gonna wait here another 10 minutes and then we're gonna set off back. Um, yeah. 
nuts. Absolutely love it. So I've just had a quick check on the weather app and it's saying black cloud and two drips of rain and there's nothing, there's no sunshine going to be beaming through anything anytime soon. So I think I'm going to call that a day and I'm also going to end the video there as well. So thank you so much for watching. I shall see you guys on the next adventure. Take care, see you, bye. In next week's video, I visit Sentry Circle campsite, look in some USB recharging lockers, show you a case that looks like it's from a drug deal from Lethal Weapon, visit Sentry Circle and check out the views from the top, chop some wood, cook my dinner on the campfire, burn my mouth on the hot food and visit Rosebury Topping. Have a great week and see you next time. And I'll probably need to take it off about halfway on the walk. Let's just do that again and look at camera. Let's just do it again, but without snotty nose, eh? Right, I think we're ready. There's a thousand times. Wait a minute, there's a mess. Oh, there's bound to be a mess up in outside. No taps on that. <laughs>